Uh, yeah, you did. Tuesday morning, we just dropped off the uh, truck over by the tugboat to get it charged. Now we got, uh, what, 12.30 is our... We leave at 12.30, we check in about uh, 25 minutes, 20 minutes. And we already went to a little store up around the corner. We got a uh, sausage egg and uh, cheese breakfast. This Blue Moon Cafe is where we wanted to go for breakfast, but they're, all, they're close on Tuesdays. And today's Tuesday, so we'll come back for that tomorrow. And uh, in the meantime, we're just walking back. And here, let's do this. You can see the ocean over a little bit that way. And we'll get more film as we go. And that place right up there, that's where we went and got our breakfast sandwich. And it was over there. That right there is where we're staying. Yeah, right here. And what is going on? What is this week it's called again? Oh, this is called Wind Jam Week. Wind Jam Week. So it's, it's big, like a little festival. Regatta. Yeah, regatta down here. So they got a lot of stuff set up down there and people are doing things. Tours, one tour. Yeah. Oh, scared the heck out of me. <laughs> So we're on the Eastwood schooner. Let's go. Or we can do three. Oh, they're going up there. I've got three right here in the cockpit if I've got a group of three. Yeah. Okay. Come hang out with me. Yep, here's three. If you are sitting on that cushion, I just want you to be aware that this silver stick right here makes the boat go forward. Or backward. Round of drinks, right? Before we do the safety info, before we get out of here, uh, I need everybody's attention for just a moment, and then we will get drinks. I promise, because priorities. But what I'm going to do is go over safety stuff, get us off the dock and out where there's some breeze, and Megan's going to come around and get drinks out as fast as she can while we're because we've got a motor out of the harbor anyway before we can set sail. Sound like a good plan? Yes. Now we're yes. get the AC on. All right. Hi, I'm Katie. I'm your captain. Hi, Katie. Hey. Katie. Uh, mostly, I'll be back there making the boat go forward, so way more important. Megan is your deckhand today. She does all the heavy lifting on board. So like I said, she's your deckhand. She is not your lifeguard, correct? This is not a swimming excursion. <laughs> and obviously, she's your bartender, so make friends with Megan. Anything you guys need, please don't hesitate to ask. As far as safety stuff goes, I don't anticipate needing this today, but good info to have. First and foremost, life jackets. I have more than enough life jackets for everybody on board. They're located in that hatch just behind the wheel. If we need them, Megan and I will pass them out. They're your standard orange rectangular life jackets. There's a big hole in one end. Really self-explanatory how they work and I still have to explain it. So <laughs> bear with me. The big hole goes over your head. There's a long strap that goes all the way around your back, clips to a D-ring in front, Grab the little end of the strap and pull just like your airplane seatbelt to cinch it up tight and you are all set to float. Uh, but I do not anticipate using those today. We are also not going to be using our man overboard ring, right? That is your standard throwable life ring located on the port quarter of the vessel. Um, but we don't need that because nobody's going to break the number one rule on board, which is stay in the boat. Uh, however, should somebody accidentally break that rule, first, I'm gonna throw that life ring. Uh, second, I'm gonna need everybody to sit down because these sails will swing when we turn the boat around. I'm gonna ask everybody to kind of point towards the person in the water for me, at which point you can laugh if you feel so inclined. Um, and then we're gonna spin on our heel, pick them up, drag them back aboard, cut them off from the bar, and the rest of all of our day is paperwork with the Coast Guard. What's, so, what's, what's the water temperature? So stay, oh, <laughs> it's like, 60 if, is it 60 if that, 55 you yeah. don't want to get it doesn't even feel cold it feels like being beaten with a sack of hammers okay it's not nice <laughs> um but yeah to that end staying in the boat please do not go forward to this mast any further forward than right here i've got no lifelines to keep you in the boat i've got a ton of rigging that's going to be swinging around trying to knock you out and if you fall off the boat up here you go straight underneath so Stay to this side of that mast. 
Please don't go back past the wheel. Again, no lifelines, yeah. bunch of rigging. Me too. And on the subject of lifelines, guys, okay. an okay handhold if you're trying to make your way to the bathroom. They're not here for the lean. Not like this, not like this. Definitely not like somebody tried to do on the last trip. Um, <laughs> that's not what they're designed for. They're sailor strainers. So great handholds, please don't lean on the lifelines. If I catch you doing so, I will politely request you not the first time, and then I will become incrementally less polite. <laughs> um, also, as you're moving around, be aware of this. This is the four sheet. It controls this whole sail, so at times this thing's gonna be moving. Uh, it's not gonna jump out and get you, but it is also not something you wanna get your fingers anywhere near. You don't wanna grab it, hang from it. Just leave that thing be. And speaking of the for sale, it's pretty light wind right now. Like I said, I'm gonna motor out of here. Once we get about Tumblr Island there, we'll set sail. If there isn't breeze there, I'm gonna keep motoring and find it. <laughs> I'm gonna make our own breeze. But once that breeze does pipe up and these sails fill, this boat is gonna lean. She's supposed to do that. It's called healing. Uh, but if the boat is healing, the seatbelt sign is on. If if we do get enough breeze that the boat's healing and you feel like your cushion is being a pain about staying on the cabin top, I highly recommend the super chill spot of sitting plopped down on the deck using the cabin house as a backrest and relaxing. Um, and that covers safety. Uh, everybody's probably wondering where the bathroom is, right? The head? Well, probably wondering. So if you guys need the head, it's located... Jeez, they're getting spicy with their cannon today. Located down this hatch, so right here midships, if you need the bathroom, you're gonna watch your fingers. Slide this hatch all the way open so you don't bonk your head on the way back up. And this is a ladder, not stairs. And so you're gonna turn around and face it like a ladder because it's a ladder. Copy, <laughs> toes grip, heel slip. And this is a two-handed adventure, so not gonna do this with a drink, a purse, a hat in one hand, but just face it like the ladder that it is. There are plenty of handholds, handrails. Take advantage of all of those on your way down. Once you get to the bottom, you are gonna turn around, go forward. On your right, you'll see a little sink, and directly opposite that, a little door, and inside is the bathroom. Also pretty self-explanatory in there, uh, except our toilet flushes with a push button. Just a little black button on the wall. Hold it down, it goes whoosh. Everything goes away. Um, that's all there is to it. But if for whatever reason you try that and everything does not go away, I have been in this business in, uh, it will be 20 years this fall. I have seen it all. <laughs> Please don't be shy. We want to know it's broken so we can get it working again, but all you got to do is come up and be like, yo, that's broken. We'll get it taken care of. Uh, what keeps it flowing freely though is making sure nothing goes through that head that didn't go through you. And a little bit of toilet paper. Anything else? Anything else at all? We beg you, use the trash can. And that'll keep everything functioning as it should. Sound good? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So again, I'm Katie. This is Megan. This is the Schooner Eastwind, built by Herb and Dora Smith. And if you have any questions about that, boy, can I talk your ear off. And uh, we're going to get out of here and make some AC. Sound like, <laughs> sound like a plan? Mm -hmm. All right. Woo, let's do this. Uh, there will be a loud horn as I drop my last dock line. I'll try to shout a warning. The lobster barges out there. Happy birthday. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Mine was something that happened just pretty quick. And they offered me a severance package, and I was like, I don't want to go like that. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> well, I, I worked for Nestle's 42 years, Stouffer's in, in Ohio. So, um, what they did, they used to offer insurance on the low discount. And I used to watch all the commercials or the things for that sort channel and tell you to pay for it. And my wife would go nuts when we held the contract. I just wanted to see you in there. The little 
ones are, yes. Oh, are they? I know down in the Florida Keys, you got different colors for these. Yeah. You know, red ones and blue ones. On the they floor. are all different colors. Yeah. These ones are. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Different owners. Oh, yep. Okay, ready? So, last part here. Some lunch. They eat some lobster. Clams? Oh, you like clams? Oh, yeah, they're fried. We have a chip. I'd like to try See, my wife likes fried. <laughs> Slow mo. I get this bad. There we go. You said Megan? Yes. Megan, this is our first mate, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, there she is. She helped maneuver and pull us, keep our heads on her shoulder. And we thank you for that. Uh, he does. He's got a YouTube channel. Vince does. Oh, nice. They catch fish. <laughs> They're a fish sanctuary. So people that try to get rid of them, they call us, mm -hmm. call us up in Ohio, and he goes and gets them. She says uh, she took care of you guys today. Please take care of Megan before you get off the boat. She's the hard, hardest working deckhand in Booth Bay, uh, and she'll have a little bucket that I hid when I go dig it out in a moment. And also guys, thank you so much just for coming out. Uh, we really appreciate you guys just being on the boat. Without y'all, we would not see these awesome old wooden boats on the water anymore. Like all those gorgeous schooners coming in. We survive based on you guys. We don't really fish or haul cargo with these anymore. They're not clearly the most popular private yacht. So you guys coming out is what keeps us floating and we really appreciate that. Again, thank you guys so much. And I believe, yep, gate's open. Thank you. Hey, thank you, thank Captain. You. Good job. Thank you. Thank what you. a beautiful day you guys picked, too. Yeah. This is a wonderful job. This beautiful day. Oh, my yep. God. I don't know how you get up there. <laughs> and basically what you're seeing in the background, this is actually behind the hotel there on the left. And it's a public uh, booth bay uh, dock area. And this is where everybody came down to set up their tents and things and kids and information about the area and the festival and all that good stuff. We just got off the ship, and it's the ports of Italy. Yes. This is where we're having dinner tomorrow. And just real quick, you guys can pause it and do what you want, but <laughs> and you can look it up even, of course. But the ravioli is outstanding. The uh, tagliatelle alla bolognese, and then the. The frutta de mari, which I love because it's got your black ink spots, spaghetti, you got the shrimp, scallops, mussels, calamari, little neck clams, everything you need to get a good case of gout. <laughs> <laughs> but and delicious, all, all pasta's homemade. And we have uh, our reservations confirmed for tomorrow evening at 6.30 because we're going whale watching tomorrow. Yeah. All right, we're going to go uh, up the street and go get the uh, lightning. It should be charged up and hopefully we got enough juice to run around. Nice to mile there. Yeah, I took some pictures of that when we went by it. Yeah, awesome place. So we're back at Frank's, and Frank owns this whole pier. 
and he has other people here that do business. But that's his place. There's my brother. He's getting us two lobster rolls and some steam clams. But yeah, this whole place is his. Put him on the. He, what, what, he's just what, a YouTube. What kind of drink are you looking for? Drinks? Right. What do you got? Do you got the cherry stuff or? She'll be out in a minute. She'll be out? Okay. <laughs> Who's that? Your daughter in law? Ah, uh, no. No, no, not that one. The other one. <laughs> Let's uh. I removed someone from within the family. I <laughs> uh, think so you will work, but they're not real fond of it. Nope. Uh -huh. Basically. But they want all the so pleasures the and are benefits. Small, huh? Yeah. Kind of small? No, 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 they're good. If you like small ones, you like these. No, we yeah, like small we ones. Like the I'm small thinking one. uh, those may not be good enough for us. Number 25? I don't know how many you get. Pound, uh, you want three pounds? Well, yeah, if they're small, I try, yeah, we'll, we'll tear those up. This if guy they're loves small. Plenty. If they're small, we love small ones. Mm. Hey, get <laughs> <laughs> I took a picture from back there, telling everybody what we're getting. Oh, okay. And I'll tell you what, here's where I will... Man, we got to find some shade. Yes. <laughs> Good luck on oh, that hell yeah, buddy. Oh. oh, we could tear those up, yes. Damn, those are better than what you had. Yes, I like those. Yep. Oh, oh we'll tear those up. Particular ones are the right size. Yeah, they have the. They're like a. But, but what, what happens when the tides get bigger? The clams get bigger. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Mm. I like these. No, I like this the way that's eat, done. We can eat a bunch of these ones. That's cool. And you want two love for rolls, or do you want a love for roll and crab meat roll? Uh, just. No, you want lobster or crab meat? Two. I want lobster. Lobster. I want lobster. Two, two, two love rolls. Yep, two lobsters. I get plenty of crab at home. Yeah, we eat plenty of crab. I'm I can get them out here. Yeah, it's okay. Hey, we got time. We're not in a hurry. <laughs> nope. Right, yeah, let, let me, um, let, let's take a couple of minutes to cook these. Yeah, and we're then good. We're, we're, we'll, we got uh, nothing to do. We're going to eat. We're going to drink some beer. We'll go back to the place. Um, we're going to probably get the chambers and the radios and stuff like that. Get the late nights and the shit. Or something. Actually, I like the hat. So. Send this out. Yeah, right. So uh, Johnny and I started out with three dozen steamer clams, <laughs> and we have some lobster rolls coming on the way. Mm -hmm. Got a good part. Oh yeah. Put in butter. Mm. Very <laughs> very tender. We still got a few more claims to go, but round mm -hmm. two showed up. Oh my god. And that is our lobster roll. Mm -hmm. This thing's got a way up down there for more. The best part right here. The claw. <laughs> yeah. So I already butter, ate dip it in the butter. And then for me, lots of mayo. Mmm. <laughs> really tender, so sweet. Definitely delicious. Oh, thanks to Frank. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting here and I'm telling Jamie, everything's real good, except for, I'm not crazy on cold lobster. I didn't know they were bringing it out cold. Johnny's like, yeah, they do it hot, and this and that. Then, without her even knowing it, he brought us out a big bowl. He brought us a big bowl of more lobster in butter that was hot. <laughs> oh my God, what a dude. This is the place. Uh, no, really, it was that good. I mean, the lobster was fucking delicious. Thank you, sir. <laughs> it was really and it good. was great nice, meeting nice you. Meet you. And, well, Johnny will call you. This will you come out Thursday or Saturday. It's probably Saturday, though. Yep. But actually, the meeting with you and everything came out today. <laughs> I, had, I had one come out today. It's about five minutes of me doing some stupid can't shit, and the rest is ours. You can't yeah, show them now? I can, actually. Yeah, show them now. All right, the place across the street, you guys see where everybody is with the umbrellas. What happened was the Food Channel came down about 12 years and did a thing on them, and that's why they're always super busy. However, when they do the lobster rolls, Frank over here, it's Bragg Lobster, he was using the good rolls long before they, they were using hot dog buns. But when the Food Channel hit, then they started copying what Frank did. 
but Frank's is way better, no lying, and just as good, and the prices are just the same. So you guys come to Maine, you gotta hit up him. We are at uh, Mine Oyster, and we both got a, well, Johnny got a, a cup, I got the bowl of uh, clam chowder and as good as noisy oyster yeah it's very very good now we did have some calamari come out and it wasn't so good no it was a little rubbery and Becky, I ordered the lobster bisque a couple of it come out it was like water is so thin and it was like no I mean I always say it's about the sauce not about having chunks of lobster, but the fact that it was so thin and I didn't even taste it. There was no chunks of lobster. They went right back to the pot. <laughs> so we're not trying that stuff. But we got some, uh, what are we trying next? We do, um, 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 oh, some oysters. We got some oysters coming and then we're going to do maybe some fried pork belly and or, I know it sounds lame, chicken wings. We hear they're like awesome. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Kelly? Yeah, can you glass? Sure. Thank you. Oh, nice. Oh, it is. It's a nice place. I think I got some sun today. So you will too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? I think it, oh, people just can't get past that. Yeah, so. take pictures. He yeah. does a YouTube channel. Make sure you get oh, Kelly really? involved. No, don't get me in. Oh, <laughs> oh sweetheart, you look good. <laughs> if they say no. Okay, we got some oysters. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put in a couple drips. Or, uh, Tabasco, which I love. I have three different types here. So I got three, three, and three. And three what? Huh? Three, three, three of what? Oh, hell, I don't remember the name. <laughs> Eros. <laughs> Something like that. You're humming. Now, this is tough. With the horseradish. Oh, shit. Give me a big one. No, no, this is like raw horseradish. This will definitely clean your sinuses out. Um, sauce. Kind of sauce was that cocktail sauce? Cocktail, yeah. Yeah, a little bit. That one's got a lot of juice in it. All right, Jenny's okay, gonna try the these oysters. <laughs> yeah, let's see how these are. Mmm. Briny, but not too briny. Really good. Try the second the type. Salinity. All right, this is a, this is the yeah, second one. Now. Second one. You got three arrows. different types. All right. Arrows. Mmm. Watch your Damn. Mm. That was good, huh? That was very good, but something hot. Ooh. Really? Something really hot. I don't know if I had more horse More horse radish. I had two of. <clears throat> now look at the brain on this. I know. Right, this is a big one. Look at all that juice. Holy smoke. I forgot what this is called. The word is too big for me to understand. <laughs> Bad. Least favorite. Least favorite, huh? Second. second was number one. And then the, the second one was my number one. Yeah. Yeah. And then that the first good. one was number two and right. third. Okay. Yeah, okay. not bad, man. They're pretty good though. I love oysters. Yeah. Enjoy. Thank you. Bon appetit. Right. The wings okay. showed up. So they the look pretty good, except for Johnny says the barbecue good. sauce is like baby Ray, but. <laughs> so, everybody, this is Morgan. And we're still at the Oyster House, and he's their entertainment from 9 o'clock on, and he's their DJ. He even asked us if there was anything we wanted to listen to, so that was pretty nice of him. And he grew up here, but his father is from Chagrin Falls, over where we are, guys, so, yeah. All right, dude, man. <laughs> okay, it's almost 5 to 11. My brother and I, Johnny, just got back um, from you know the mine oyster good place and it's one of the only two bars around that stays open to about one in the morning but they are under a noise limit and uh so that's how it goes this place closes down early 
all these restaurant shops and the majority of everything here closes at 8 o'clock. You would think for a tourist place it would be active and jamming and jumping. Hey, my, my son, Kirk, when I told him, he's like, what? But yeah, that's the way it is. Everything happens from 6 to 8. <laughs> all right, so this is the... This is Tuesday night, and we got Wednesday. Tomorrow we're gonna go some, do some whale watching. And then up the street, we have a reservation, as you saw, at the Ports of Italy. Okay, let's keep this vacation moving on.